awful lot of players, and as as a many many teams in the Premier League. Uh, and if you sense the players sub subconsciously are starting to think about it or protect themselves, or is it easy for them to keep it, keep it out of the mind? We were just thinking, like you know. Uh, Never had that question yet, so we are the first one to ask the question, so that's probably the moment when people start thinking about it, when you start asking about it. So it's a logical thing, it every, happens every year when you're, usually the World Cup is in the summer and the big finals are in the summer as well, so if you're involved in a final, the Champions League, FA Cup, whatever, European League um, final, there's no player who thinks in that moment about the World Cup a little bit later, they want to win that final. So, and if you can, if the last match day is the decisive day for qualifying for the Champions League, for staying in the league, there's no player I know I ever met who would then think, mm, be careful, because players, the players I know and our players for sure are 1,000 percent committed with us here. But um, as I said, when you, you know, when everybody's now starting asking, then in that moment it, the process starts. That's how it is. That's how no, that's normal. I don't say it will be have a massive impact, but. Then you start thinking about it. I don't know, think any, the, the players who think about the World Cup are the players who got get injured in that moment. Then they count days. So that's normal. Uh, so you saw obviously a few dramatic scenes. Players from other clubs or, or, or yeah. um, Diogo as well, but um, not before a game, after a game. No, it's a normal situation. So after after a specific game in the season. It's usually the last game of the season. A big tournament is waiting, and this is not the last game. It's, I don't know, game number 16, 15, 14. I don't know exactly, um, but that's the only difference. Apart from that, the, the players are used to that. Dave, uh, do, do you expect it to be a different Liverpool after the World Cup? If different means, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's not my. It's honestly not my not my subject. So yes, we will be different. Yes, we will have trained. Yes, we will have players back. But it depends to how come the players back to the World Cup. I can have no idea about that. Of course, <coughs> these kind of things are unfair. If they all come back healthy for the World Cup, if they all go out early, <laughs> have a break, and uh, and can then train with us for three and uh, three and a half weeks, um, yeah, yeah, that would be absolutely outstanding. But um, a lot of ifs. So and. No, I'm not interested in, the, in, the, in that moment, in this moment, in the Liverpool after the World Cup. I'm interested in the Liverpool it, it, tomorrow. I guess. It, <coughs> I mean, you said just just before that you, you're unfortunately not around Manchester City like some of the other clubs, but you, they, you're kind of just about close enough. If it is an unusual season where they don't run away with it, I, <coughs> if if you mm. are. If we would have won against Nottingham, we would have 19 points, and then we would be a bit closer than now with 16. So I know that, but we didn't. So why should we talk about that? I mean, the problem is, so when we talk about our situation, how can we improve it? It's, it's, it sounds like we just have to play better, and then, ah, okay, I have still an opponent. So, and Leeds is really going for it, and eh? Leeds is super lively, super aggressive. It's not like I think Chelsea, Salzburg, Leipzig was a lot of high press, stuff like this. Now it's a lot of midfield press, make spaces really small, going for counter-attacks. A lot of really good players, talented players. Bamford is back. Um, then uh, so Harrison, Aronson, speed and um, desire. Then they have real <laughs> machines. I'm not sure Adams can play, but if he can play, another uh, hard, hardest worker in midfield. So there's a lot to like about this team, to be honest. And they have no result. The last six, seven games, no real result, and um, so they will be here. And I heard only a little bit yesterday when I passed the screen, and I heard just just him out saying, "I'm sick of <laughs> losing." So, and he's already very emotional on the touchline. So now I'm being sick of losing, and any emotional on the touchline that will be. A, so I can imagine how he will. We saw this halftime talk what he had with Salzburg, so he's obviously in the dressing room pretty lively, so he will set them on fire. So that's our opponent. I could, how could I think for a second about the time after the World Cup? We have to be prepared for this game, nothing else. Paul Ghost. Yeah, I just wanted to ask about Naby. You said that tomorrow might come too soon for him. No, no, Naby's still in, in, a, in a long, longer rehab phase. So will he be able to contribute before the, the, the break? Will be tight. Um, and how much more difficult will that be for him then, given the, the kind of break in play? You know, 
difficult getting up to full speed and then you look at it. I think that you know, people have a full pre-season with us in December and it will be perfect for him. So you, you think it might be more towards the new year before we finally see a fully fit navigator? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Even if he can play before, he has no chance to be fully fit. He com comes then out of rehab, um, and yeah, we have five games, so I wouldn't rule him out now for one or two of them. But in this moment, he's there's still a gap to fill. Final question to Ella from the BBC. Uh, hi, Jürgen. I'm hi. Ella, and I'm 14. Um, I'm from the BBC Young Reporter. Um, I was wondering what your thoughts were in regards to sexism towards female football supporters in the men's division. Uh, because I have a TikTok account based on Liverpool and I receive a lot of negative and sexist comments from young boys regarding this. Wow, that's a serious question for a 40 year old girl. Um, so, I'm not sure about um, um, if we have to talk about sexism in football or whatever, I think in general. In general, is um, it's an awful thing, um, but uh, how all bad comments in life they are mostly done by people who are a bit dumb. So you can take that maybe for yourself. So if you feel, so I can tell you, I don't know exactly what people are saying about me, and I don't say the things are as bad as they are maybe in a in a in a, in a sex, sexism understanding, but. There are a lot of people out there, they, they are talking about me. And since I'm in the last 22, 23 years as a public person, you cannot blame me without knowing me. There's no chance. Nothing arrives at my heart, at my soul. It doesn't touch me at all. You can, there are comments about after, uh, below each Daily Mail article. I can read them. I read them actually more often than I read the article itself. Um, and they really go for me. Nothing scratches me. Nothing. And that's what I would like to give you. So they don't know you. They have no idea. They're a bit, I'm not sure dumb is the right word, but not really smart. Um, don't let it get to you. And then everything will be fine. Do what you're doing. Be confident. You like it. Do it. And if people say something negative, don't listen to it. And what else do you think could be done in regards to this issue? Because I know a lot of our players have already supported, because there's a few campaigns to stop you know, sexism against female football fans, and a lot of our players have supported this issue. How can I support that? How? How do I support it publicly? I handle support it publicly, so okay. If you mean my support, you have it. Whatever I can do, I do. But um, to be honest, honest, I didn't hear yet about about it. Uh, but it's more my lack of social media activity, probably. I think um, uh, so. You have to, to write me a letter <laughs> <laughs> if you want to reach out to me. Um, yeah, but each support you can get, you will get. No problem. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. See you. <coughs>